See, we have already started second lesson of chemistry, acid, bases and salts. So, we have seen acid, bases, indicators, uh, reactions of acid. Now, here we have test for CO2 gas. Now, when CO2 passes through lime water, the solution turns milky. Now, see calcium hydroxide. It is in solid state. We call it as a calcium hydroxide. When we, we make the solution of calcium hydroxide, it is nothing but lime water. So, when we pass the lime, uh, carbon dioxide gas through the lime water, means solution of CO, CaOH toys, then what will happen? This solution of the lime water turns to milky, means it becomes whitish. So, that is the test for CO2 gas. So, when CO2 passes through lime water, solution turns to milky with the formation of CaCO3, calcium carbonate and water. So, this is the test for the CO2 gas. But sometimes we are asked different type of question. When excess of CO2 pass through the lime water, when sufficient amount of CO2 is passed, then lime water turns milky. But if we pass the excess amount of CO2, then what will happen? When excess amount of CO2 is again passed, after some time what happens? The milkiness of the calcium carbonate is disappear. So when first we pass the some amount of CO2, solution becomes milky. But if we pass more amount of CO2, then the uh, milkiness or whitish color of the solution disappear. So, when excess of CO2 passes through the lime water, milkiness of the solution get disappear. So, this is the product CaCO3 plus H2O and excess of CO2 is passed. So, by this reaction, we will get the product Ca HCO3 twice. So, this HCO3 is in bracket. So, the name of the product is calcium hydrogen carbonate, which does not have milky color. Now, what do all acids have in common? Now, which substance is called as acid? We have seen substances which produces H plus ion. Means substances which have H is not called as acid. The acid is a substance when it is added in a water. And it will produce H plus ion. That substance is only called as acid. In the formula, if there is H, means it is acid. It is not like that. When that substance is added in water, means added in water means aqueous solution is made. And after adding in water, it will produce H plus ion. Then that substance is called as the acid. Now see here, HCl, aqueous. Aqueous means what we have added, water is added. So, aqueous solution of HCl means when hydrochloric acid is added in water, it will get ionized. It forms ion. So, it is called as ionized. It will form two types of ion, H plus Cl minus. When sulfuric acid added in a water, aqueous solution of H2SO4 will produce H2 plus and SO4 minus minus. This nitric acid, when nitric acid is added in a water, the aqueous solution of nitric acid will produce H plus ion and NO3 minus ion. So, positively charged ions are called as the cation. Negatively charged ions are called as the anion. Now, here CH3COOH, this acid is called as the acetic acid. This is weak acid. These are the strong acids. This is weak acid. When it is added in a water, it will again produce H plus ion and negatively charged ion also. Now, see how does it get dissociates? It will separate out this H from the formula of this CH3COOH. This H plus ion will get separate. So, here we will get two types of ion again. One is H plus ion and remaining part is CH3COO minus ion. So, acid is a substance which produces H plus ions when it is dissolved in water. That substance is only called as acid. Means what can we say? What do all acids have in common? All acids have in common that is the H plus ion. Now see HCl is added in a water to produce H plus ion. But this H plus ion is highly reactive. It is highly unstable. It can't exist alone. So when H plus ion is formed from the solution of the HCl. This H plus ion as it is highly reactive. It can't exist alone. So, this H plus ion again react with the water. Means this HCl is in the water. It produces H plus ion. This H plus ion as it is highly reactive, it again react with water. And it will form a new type of ion. That ion is called as the hydronium ion. 
and we have formula of hydronium hydronium ion that is H3O plus. So how it is formed H3O plus H2O plus H plus gives H3O plus. So this hydrogen ion again reacts with water to form H3O plus ion. That ion is called as the hydronium ion. Now we have one activity to show that all compounds containing hydrogen ion are not uh, hydrogen are not acids. Means in the formula, if there is a hydrogen, H is written. So if H is written, it is not acid. Every time it is not acid. What is acid? Substance which produces H plus ion. Only in formula if there is acid, H means it is not acid. So we have one uh, activity to show that all compounds containing hydrogen are not acids. Now see here we have weaker. In weaker we have taken a solution of HCl. Now we know HCl is acid. It contains H. Aqueous solution. In aqueous solution, if we have taken the aqueous solution of HCl, what will happen? This HCl will split and it will produce two types of ion. Which two types of ion it will produce? H plus and Cl minus. Now this H plus ion, it will move and it will conduct the electricity. In solid state, for conduction of electricity, electrons, free electrons are required. In liquid state, for conduction of electricity, ions are required. Both ions, positively charged cation and negatively charged ion, anion. So when HCl is added in water, it produces two types of ion, H plus and Cl minus. And these ions will conduct the electricity. Here we have these rods are the carbon rods, graphite rods and they are connected to the two terminals of battery. This is battery. Positive terminal is called as anode, negative terminal is called as the cathode and here we have attached the bulb. Now when the electric current is passed through the aqueous solution of HCl, HCl will first produce H plus and Cl minus ion and what will happen 